Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Roblox Studio video, since I haven't done one in a long time. So, yeah, let's hop right into it. Alright, so basically in today's video, we're going to be talking about only using module scripts. You may be asking why would we want to use only module scripts. Well, I'm about to show you guys. Module scripts are an effective way of organizing your code in both server and client scripts. For example, I can have a main script that requires everything, and a module script, and even uh, sub-modules to further have subscripts in that script to organize your code even more. I haven't read much about it, but it probably like improves some, perfor some performance too, so I'd recommend it. So instead of having a script inside every little brick, you know, it'll be really hard to keep track of everything and organize it. So basically, we're going to start off with a script in server script ser or script in server script service. Let's call this um, probably server because this is like our main server thing, you know. And by the way, guys, I'm going to be writing the simplest form we can do. All right, so basically, I'm just going to wait a few seconds, you know, maybe about two seconds. So everything gets loaded into the game. And then what I'm going to do is four underscore. Have a module in script colon get descendants do. So basically, what it's saying is we're looping through every uh, child and descendant in the script. All right, now we're gonna say, you know, just a little check if the module script is a module script or like that descendant is a module script, and we do that on line five. And if it is, then we're just gonna require the module. And that's really simple. We're just going to print done requiring. I think that's how you spell that. But yeah. And from then, I can have module scripts in the script. I'll just, I'm just going to call this do something. All right. So then I'm going to say local function do something. And that do something is print high. All right. So if we head into the game and into the output, um, hold on. Alright, sorry guys, we're gonna have to, we're gonna treat this like a normal script, obviously, so I'm just gonna say do something, and that should work now, sorry, I forgot to do that. So if we go into the game. Oh my goodness, guys, I am so sorry. <laughs> I put everything in replicated storage. Put everything in service script service. Goodness gracious, okay. <laughs> and then finally, as you can see, it says hi and done requiring. Alright, so sorry guys, make sure to put your server stuff in your server script service, and make sure to call it your function. Alright, so my bad, my bad. And so yeah, just like that, get descendants and everything, that's how you do it. Um, so now you can see now, um, this can be like a, a topic or something, like, uh, this can be called, um, obby main, you know, this is the main kind of logic of an obby so i can i can print uh main obby okay and then we can have another module this could be kill brick handler all right this would handle all the kill bricks so you know like you know i'm not gonna code all that but i'm gonna print uh yeah this would handle the kill kick kill bricks and if I go into the game, may not be done requiring. Yeah, this would handle the kill breaks. Done requiring. Just like that. Oh, and by the way, guys, um, the reason why this is printing multiple times is because for every module it requires, it says done requiring. So just at the end, I'm just going to, uh, out here, I'm going to say done requiring. Oops. Done requiring. So just like that. And you can do the same thing on the client as well. All right, so in starter um, player scripts, local script as well, and basically just copy codes from here to here. I'm just getting rid of the done requiring stuff because it's not really not necessary. As you can see, that would work, and I'm not gonna call this client. And as well in the module script, I'm gonna insert a module script. I'm gonna, um, do something. I'm gonna say print. Uh, this is the client, and then back here, uh, print, this is the server, okay, and if I go into the game, 
as you can see um, there's the green for the server and the uh, blue for the client this is the server this is the client and you can probably see already this is really good organization you don't have scripts um, and anything like that now I'm gonna hop into another thing so how would you do like something like GUIs for the client well, this is really simple, and a lot of people don't really know this, but I'm going to show you. So I'm going to call this GUI, and I'm going to have a text button. And this will be just a normal button. And then do something, I'm going to say um, text button click, I'm going to call that. And I could have a topic named like GUI and this certain GUI. But how you would do this is you would get first get the player, so local player. And that player is that local player. Then you would get the player GUI. So local player GUI is equal to player dot player GUI. All right. So from there, you'd say player GUI dot GUI dot text button. I'd probably make variables for all this, but anyways, uh, dot mouse button with click will connect just like that. And I'm gonna print uh, button was button was clicked all right so if we happen to the game once again open up the output oh gy uh okay this is a simple error it happens in like every script just put a little wait of like two seconds because the script is trying to get the gy even though it's not loaded in yet so that's a simple fix all right so here we are if we click the button it says button was clicked over and over and over and yeah guys that was today's video if this was helpful then please um hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.